Monica, the only thing you had to do was walk the dog. With the dog's life on the line. Get over it, because this guy needs it. Victoria must get the family to take responsibility for their dog. You don't do I just don't bring a bag with me. I'm too old and too cynical to believe stories like that. The girls and I got Rocky five years ago. We went to the store. Veronica wanted him so bad. The reason I finally got the dog is because my daughters wore me down. A lot of the problem is my daughters also. They don't give him the attention they should. They do not follow through. You don't walk the dog. There's always going to be an argument or a fight. Ever. Not once in your life have you ever I never have to walk this, this dog. dog. Never have to. But you, you do. Also, they try every excuse under the sun by blaming me. You don't do and saying it's my fault and I don't do anything for him. This is what the problem is. Well, we it's him. your job. I don't know what she does all day. She doesn't have a job. Shut up for a second. It's my language. They don't care enough about the dog to take him out when he's supposed to go out. But yeah, when he bites people, they want to keep him and they don't want to do anything about it. You say you have two daughters. Are they I, here? Yes. Girls, come on down. This is all Victoria, but we call her Tori. Nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> and this is you. Veronica. Hi, Hi Veronica. Yeah. Hello. Nice to meet you. So, um, what is your experience of Rocky? He was good when he was a puppy. Just like as he got older, he he became very rambunctious, I guess. I have to say, I really <laughs> didn't you? want a dog. So you wanted a dog. They wanted a dog. Oh, they promised me fine. that they would take over the responsibility. So Some you don't behavior. do as much as you should be doing. I mean. I should walk when I come home from work sometimes I'm like, I'm super tired. So I, I'm lax on my responsibility. And what happens know. when you say that? Oh, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. No, we don't. I don't well, know. I do. Yeah, no. I know what I'm talking about, so you're going to listen to me. OK. OK? That's why I'm here, to, to help your dog, to help your lives with your dog. And uh, already I can see this is not going to be easy. No, he's very All nervous. Hands on deck. Victoria wants to see what happens on a walk. So are you the one who walks him most of the time? Um, me or my sister, but she's not home a lot because of school and of work, school. so. What about your mother? She never walks the dog. She doesn't? No, ever. Why? I don't know, but I just never, no, she just tells me to walk the dog, so I'll do it. I mean, it bothers me that she doesn't try and walk the dog, but. She doesn't walk him, I guess, you know. Right. I don't think there's one member of this family that hasn't been lazy around Rocky. They're going to have to step up their game 100%. He's always dragging me like this. Yes, I see. And now he's pooping. So even pooping, he's twirling. Yes, he never stands still. Like, I don't know why. Yes, uh... Go on, then. Should I go inside and get a bag now? Do you not bring bags out with you? Yeah, I don't bring bags out with me. So who's supposed to pick this up then? I do. You don't forget it's there. You don't. You don't not. No, I pick it up. It's just that I don't bring a bag. You telling me the truth? Do you pick it up every single time? I am telling you the truth. Okay. I do. I just okay. don't bring a bag with me. Well, then you're going to have to go back and go yes. get a bag. Because yeah. we're moving from this spot. <laughs> OK. OK. Why don't you leave him with me? OK. OK. She doesn't have a bag with her, so she goes back inside of the house to go and get a bag to come out and pick the poop up later. That is just not true. I'm too old and too cynical to believe stories like that. Is he being good? He's being very good. Ah. Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> when he poops, is that it then? Do you then take him inside? Uh, yeah. And that's the end of the walk? Yeah. Um, that, that's not a walk. That's a toilet break. A quick out and right back in the house again. That's nothing for a dog like this. Victoria wants to put an end to the family's finger pointing as to who's to blame for Rocky's behavior and have them do what's best for their dog. This is the thing, and I've heard your side of the story, and yeah. I've heard you girls' side of the story, and yeah, yes, collective, we gotta do yeah. more. No, this isn't even about that, because if you don't step up your game, it's not gonna get better. When a family gets a dog, it's usually the young kids that swear they're gonna take care of the dog and they're gonna do it, and the parents stupid enough to say, okay, I think that's the issue here. You girls, how much actual work do you do? You speak to me and you say that 
you know, you're the only really person that walks him and that you do most of the work with him. Uh, but would you agree with that? You have to tell them every time to do it. It's not that Rocky's a thought when they wake up in the morning, let me get out of bed at 8.30 because Rocky should be going out. It's whenever I wake up. Is your mom right? What do you do when you get up in the morning? Do you go to the bathroom? Yeah. OK. So why is it OK for you to go to the bathroom but your dog not to? Exactly right. Part of the responsibility, if you really wanted this dog, and I, I, I do believe, I'm sorry, it was five years ago, they were much younger. You did give in to yeah, them. Yeah, I know, I did. I, say, I said house. it was a mistake. All I do is fight with them over this. Right. And it's not fair to me. No one really wants to accept responsibility for their apathy, and they've all been lazy with their dog. Every single one of them. You have to make him a priority because it's stressing me out by having to fight with the two of you all the time about this. And it's stressing me and Frank out. But I also think you're here during the day now. You have got to. I know. I, You've got to walk him. This dog needs a minimum of two hours running exercise a day. Without that, he's never going to succeed. You can give him all the meds you like. You can give him all the behavioral therapy you like. But if he doesn't get all of that angst out of him, nothing is gonna work. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. We love Rocky, so I hope that we can all band together and help him. So we have a lot of work and we're gonna start um, and uh, we'll see where we get to. Victoria wants to hold the girls accountable. Veronica and Tori have got to learn what responsibility is all about. I just want to show them how easy it is just to care for one animal. So, Veronica, Victoria, I want to introduce you to Sandy and Jennifer. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming to Animal Haven today. I'm not really sure what to think, because uh, downstairs it looks kind of like a pet store. I brought you here to this shelter. I know that you begged your mum for a dog. You haven't been fulfilling that responsibility. Sandy, who's a staff member here at Animal Haven, is going to show you all about responsibility. What you experience at home is nothing compared to what you're going to experience today. So after today, taking Rocky out for a few walks and cleaning up pee and poop's gonna be, it's gonna be easy. Did you bring any of the clothes? Because those clothes are definitely not yeah, gonna yeah. work. All right, so why don't you guys change and then we'll meet you upstairs in the puppy room. Okay, okay. okay. so go through there and get changed through there. All right, in the morning, when those puppies have spent a whole night pooping, it smells very, very bad. Hi. Come in. Oh. How's the smell? It's disgusting. <laughs> Are you going to be all right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, the puppy room, when I first got in, I wanted to vomit from the smell. Like, the stench was just ooh. So why don't you start on that crate, and you can start on the poop, since you don't get your fill of poop. So let's get to it. Yeah, girl, get your hands dirty. And because I'm very nice, and I bought you masks. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to pick up some poop today. Yay. Get right in there. Pick that poop up. I hate you. Oh. So adorable, but they are, they're just pooping machines, as puppies are. They are. Put muscle into it. Oh, you got to, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. That's what this is for here. Squeeze, squeeze. All right. Don't you work out with a little muscle on it. You got to really do a good job. All right, that's better, much better. This is what it's like to, you know, own a dog. It's not just all play. It's a lot of responsibility. They depend on you, you know, to care for them, just like babies do. Nasty. Good job. Putting more muscle into this this time. That's good. Just step on it. There you go. What kind of dog is that? It's a, I think, a lab pit mix. Aw. She appreciates what you're doing for her, trust me. Aw, I'm glad. I want you to just clean his paws up a little bit. Okay. See, they can't do this for themselves. This is, you know, doesn't this make you feel good to be cleaning yeah. him up? I feel like I'm gonna hurt him. No. He's so tiny. <laughs> I actually am enjoying it here. It's a good experience to come here and learn from this. I do think that I get how to properly clean up after the dog. Now here's your reward. Aww. Hold tight. And then you can put him back in there. See, that tail wag tells you thank you. <laughs> Are you used to it now? Yeah. Good on you. She sits everyone down to see if they can change, too. Okay, so here it is. Da, da, da. 
I always believe in schedules and routines so that everybody knows what they're going to do. So there is no argument. This dog needs routine because when he can predict things happening, he can cope. So I put here, Rocky's success depends on you. And I just want you to work out amongst yourselves each day what you could possibly do in that day. So let's start on the Sunday. All right. Who can walk him? Since that, the only thing that they have to do for him is to walk him as much, because that's one of the problems we have. We do all the playing with him. And you mean Ron can all play with him, you say? Mm, Frank, what do you think? Mom. Not the type of attention that he should be getting. Right. The only time he ever goes in the backyard is with me. The only time he ever goes is if Frank and my mother take him for long walks because I'm allergic to everything, Mom, so the what trees are you and the grass. And the playing part, even in the house. Do you don't know mind me saying? Yeah. I feel like since I've been with you, that you put you put the blame on everybody else no, not I doing haven't. anything, just, but not yourself. I feel like it's like a little, I'm the only one fighting for this dog. The only thing I ask them to do is walk this dog. That's it. Last night, I couldn't even find either one of you just what to take him up. Frank, did I not try to find them to walk I don't know what you're talking about. Walk, you're talking about. You're talking about oh, I walked Rocky at night. Frank and Graham are right here, and they're saying exactly what I say. Wait, wait, wait. All right? I have felt like I've been beat up by the wait, two of you. Mom. Veronica, the only thing you had to do was walk the dog. I never asked That's, you to mom, buy his food, that is not buy his wait, medicine, but take him to the doctor. Mom, but me and Veronica wash the dog, walk the dog, clean up. Blame That's game. what you do. Hold on. Uh, this isn't the blame game. What we're here to do is come up with a schedule not to argue and fight, because I know you like to well, fight. Well, there it is. So I... Walk him. That's it. Wait. That's it. You know what? You're all lazy, and you all need to take your dog out more often. Why? <laughs> I get where everyone's coming from, but let's just forget all about us and about what you're all yeah. doing or not doing. Let's forget about it. This poor animal has been stuck inside this house, only going on pee, -pee walks for five years. It's not fair. Right, it's like, right. get over it and do it That's without right. argument, because this guy needs it. I want you to sort out who is going to be walking. I'll feed him twice a day and I'll give him his medication. I would like it if you could sometimes walk him. We're going to do a little bit to make him more manageable on the leash so he's not all crazy, so it's going to be easier for you to handle. So now, who will be able to take him for a walk in the morning on Sunday? Saturday yep. and Sunday mornings, yeah. I'll take care of okay, that. Okay, so put, um, Frank, you can, you can write this. Who can do his long walk in the morning at, like, 9, 10? I can do it. I can do it. Okay. We all learned that it's not just one or two people who have to take care of Rocky. It's like a joint thing. It's a collaborative effort, Rocky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, Rock. Don't let anyone rub, rub this out. Ronnie, you're in charge. It's been two weeks since I left the Geiger family, and I'm just amazed. What a change has come over, not just Rocky, but the entire family. Come here, Rock. Life has improved so much since Victoria left. I'm going to take Rocky out now. Good, because he just drinks. Everyone knows exactly what they have to do. It's not so much stress of, oh my god, who's going to walk the dog? He's a good boy. 